What's up, guys? Good night, Buffy. Welcome back to more Mario Kart Wii Deluxe. When we last left off, we did the Mario Kart 64 Mushroom Cup. So today we'll do the Mario Kart 64 Flower Cup, and who shall we choose this time? Let us go with... Professor Egan! Alright, which cart? Or which button? Eh, why not? Professor Regan, you're no professor, you're a quack! <laughs> Alright. N64 Flower Cup, here we go. Toad's turn, pipe. <laughs> that actually looks pretty funny. I'm gonna get knocked around a whole bunch since I'm a lightweight. Oh! Alright, let's go. Yeah, that was terrible. Can I try to pick up with this guy? Look at Toad's current type more than how it looks far already. <laughs> so I think I've mentioned this before, but with Mario Kart 8, I don't know about how like remakes for certain tracks, because they're like remade to the point where they're almost unrecognizable and like, kind of like lose their identity from how they were originally. You know? Like Ribbon Road used to be a wonderland of prisons, now it's a kid's playroom. It's like, still cool, but not quite the same. And then Wario, Wario Stadium takes place in the daytime now instead of the night. And it's got the anti-gravity sections to it, so it's like, gee, like is it even the same Wario Stadium anymore? And then of course you got N64 Rainbow Road, which completely misses the point of how the original N64 Rainbow Road was. Could have at least made it two laps. Now instead you made it too short, and that coupled with Mario Kart 8 being a much faster game, makes N64 Rainbow Road the complete opposite pop of what it was originally. Too long originally, now it's too short. At least it still looks really good. It's definitely the best looking room. Mario Kart 8. 
Anyway, we win the first race. Yay! Frappe Snowland. Or is it Frape Snowland? I always called it Frape Snowland. Mario Kart Tour version, which apparently has fireworks. <laughs> but that looks more like, uh... Someone trying to bombard us with snowballs. War! Okay, I think we can use, uh... Use our good drifting now and then on this track a bit more. Mario Kart 2 version. Actually, I heard recently that they're gonna... Nintendo's finally gonna drop stop support for Mario Kart 2. Which, considering that Mario Kart 8 is about to have its final wave of DLC in a few months. Let's see, like, quite the coincidence. It's like, oh, we don't have any more uh, tracks that we can put into Mario Kart 8, so we're just gonna stop supporting. Maybe now we'll just finally get a proper Mario Kart map soon. Uh, unless Mario Kart 2 is supposed to be Mario Kart 9, in which case I refuse! What's them call the next Mario Kart game Mario Kart X? And they'll be like, wait, so this is Mario Kart 10, but what about Mario Kart 9? Uh, y'all played Mario Kart 9. It was on a phone. <laughs> also, shout out to the look of this stage. I really like the look of this. No! Ah, oh, the stupid. <sighs> well, if you need any more evidence that Mario Kart is Mario Kart, there you go. so inconsistent with this uh, CC because sometimes I get completely destroyed, other times actually destroyed it. Next race. Chaco Mountain, also the Mario Kart 2 version. Which basically means they put in the version of Mario Kart 8. Oh, that was almost good. 
Also, uh, as I'm recording this, we had a uh, Nintendo Direct yesterday. And it's a pretty solid Direct all around. Especially if you're a Mario fan. Mario fans definitely got fed yesterday. I don't know about y'all, but... Oh! No, 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 no. Stupid blue cell. No! Oh! I actually thought that was the last left. Okay. Come on, use up your bananas. That's it. Thank you. But yeah, uh, for me personally, I think the things I was most excited for to come out of that direct were uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong remake that they're putting on the Switch. And, uh, still. and uh, surprisingly enough, the uh, Princess Peach Showtime game. The new Princess Peach game has a name now, Princess Peach Showtime. It actually looks kind of fun. And I normally don't really care for Peach too much as a character. He's always just been kind of there. Yeah, one of those characters is kind of there. Alright, Mario Raceway, the original Mario Raceway. Oh yeah. Getting to use Peach as a sword fighter and Peach as a... Peach is a karate master, or kung fu master. Oh my goodness! Okay. But uh, yeah. Peach is pretty much channeling the powers of the beast from the Smash Brothers. <laughs> Have we ever seen Peach use a sword before? <laughs> I'm sure there's some obscure Mario title out there somewhere where Peach has used a sword. Like I think she even used a sword, or she used like a lightsaber in like a in like a Mario show, like the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. I think they did a whole like Star Wars parody episode, and Peach literally says, "May the pasta be with you." <laughs> Because they did a bunch of like Italian food puns in that show back in the day. Ah, oh, I didn't get. Was that something? Oh yeah. Uh, uh, that stupid Mario Kart be Mario Kart. Alright, so 
Thank y'all for watching. Get ready for more Mario Kart Wii Deluxe coming up, as well as other videos coming up. Everybody have a good day. Take it easy. Stay safe. See y'all next time. Bye bye.